wrap it up. Eustace Police released this body cam video so you can see their side of the story. You had the uh, the perfect storm. The mother of Louis Greha agreed to go on camera so she could tell her son's side of the story. He don't know what y'all talking about, what y'all doing to him. Please get off him. The story starts Saturday afternoon in a Eustace neighborhood. Police get a call. Burglary in progress. The woman is scared, says a man she did not know approached her then allegedly tried to break into her house. I don't know if he was slamming it or like, but I heard the knob on the door like shaking. Eustace police quickly find the man they're looking for. They yell multiple commands and all they know is he's ignoring every one of them. Get on your stomach, dude. Get on your stomach. I don't want to do it again. What they don't know is that 20-year-old Louis Greha is a man diagnosed with severe autism, cannot speak. According to his family, he has the mental capacity of a four-year-old. He's over six feet tall and wears diapers. Everybody loves Luke. He's lovable. Hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Lewis normally does not wander far from home, but on this day he did. Police tase him. He barely reacts. They tase him again. There's confusion. Put your hands behind your back. Then more confusion when the family gets to the scene. Okay, we got a call about him breaking into someone's house. Oh, no. oh. So that's where we're at right now. And I see my baby on the ground with taser, one taser in the back of his neck. Eustace Police Chief Craig Capri says his officers were doing the best they could with the information they had. The escalation was used here based on the knowledge they had at the time. Had they known this was a severely autistic person, I doubt any force would have been used. I think they did everything right. Uh, it could have been a lot worse. Thank God it wasn't. But Lou's mom disagrees. Believes police did everything wrong. Says her son's got neck damage, ear damage, one taser lodged behind his ear. He can't even holler out, cry, or tell you he hurting, you hurting him. One story, two sides. A glimpse into what police departments deal with and a glimpse into the heart of a mother and her worst fear. If he wouldn't have went down when you tased him, what's the next thing you're going to do, shoot him? Because that's my worst nightmare, something happening to him. In Lake County, Michelle Meredith, Washington News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.